Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri from Bianca Land, and today I'm going to show you how to plant a citrus tree here, citrus plant. Um, I'm going to give you my little secret here on how I killed two plants, but I've got it figured out now. But without further ado, let's dive on in. Okay, so I live in Dallas, Texas, and you need to consider the temperature in the winter time here because many of my citrus trees, for example, my limes, have to be brought uh, indoors in the winter time. So if it drops below 40, I like to bring all of my citrus indoors. And so you'll want to pick a pot such as this one, which is ceramic, that is big enough for your tree to grow into, but not too big here. Um, typically, every two years, you will up pot by basically one size, which is typically like two gallons. So I believe this is like a three gallon pot. We are now going to be up potting into a five gallon pot. And then in two years, we can upgrade from a five gallon pot to a seven gallon pot, or you can move them into the ground if you'd like to tarp them. So the biggest secret here for me is going to be the roots here. So watering is always a challenge in itself. If you overwater a citrus and it sits in the water, which is what happened to me, uh, your plant will die, you'll get root rot, and you will no longer have a citrus tree. If you don't get enough water, the tree itself will also die. Um, I was given the advice to plant these into pine nuggets and that the pine nuggets would absorb just enough water to keep it moist. However, I killed two trees by overwatering them in the winter. I've also gotten the advice that you need to water at least once a week in the winter time. I have found here in Dallas, at least indoors, around 74 degrees inside my house. I water them once every probably two weeks, give or take, just because I don't need that much water. So the secret for me on getting these citrus trees to live and survive and thrive here in Dallas is going to be the soil itself. So you can go down to your big box store, but I would just buy soil. Do not try using pine nuggets. I gave it a shot. I mixed my pine nuggets with a little bit of sand and dirt, and even some potting mix, trying to really get the optimal blend here. It just doesn't work. It creates issues with the watering of the tree. It's either too wet or not wet enough and the timing gets weird on it, I just found it way too challenging and far easier just to buy uh, a mix at the store. So what you're going to want is going to be a cactus, palm, and citrus mix here. Um, you can get it from any you know nursery, big box store. This just happens to be the miracle Grow one that I use. Again, it's going to say something like moisture control on it. Uh, this one has fertilizer, which will feed your tree up to three months. I still add a little fertilizer though to keep it going. And it also contains iron and bone meal for the plant. What's important with this mix is that it has a lot of different types of mulch, but it also has some soil kind of mixed in. I don't know why I tried making this myself, but it just didn't work so well. Uh, if you're gonna wanna plant this, so this is the stuff to get. For a plant or a pot though, if you're gonna use a plastic pot, which is okay, I would put some rocks in the bottom before we add any dirt because it's gonna tip over in the wind. So in Dallas, it's quite windy. Uh, I put mine out in the yard a bit to get some nice sun, but to pot this up, let's just dump in some dirt real quick. We'll unpot this kumquat here and put it in. So after I pour a little bit of dirt in the bottom and get it the right height that you want it, you can add dirt and take dirt out. I like to rough up the sides a bit um, because these trees are typically kind of compacted in the pots they come in. So I rough it up a bit. You'll even have dirt that just falls off. The roots will kind of be hanging out. And then I like to just fill in the rest with this cactus and citrus mix. And that's really it guys. The big secret for citrus, at least for me, is the soil here. I'm not the best on timing for watering. I don't, you know, get it exactly every week. Um, but I water them when I get a chance. They do sit outside the majority of the year here. Anyways, that's it guys. That's the big secret here is going to be soil. If you get the right soil, growing citrus is actually fairly easy. Don't forget to water and fertilize. I'm not the best at this, you know, keeping on a schedule. But everything I've had has fruited over the last few years here. And this seems to be the big secret for me. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And as always, until next time.